Oregon and I just got a little bit distracted by this very cool truck I mean there's some awesome trailers here but you know I'm a sucker for a cool car as well and check this out awesome cab over and um, I went and chatted to the owners of it to find out exactly a little bit more about it but I'll give you a bit of a look around and see what you can see of this oh, isn't it gorgeous so let's go talk to the owners and find out a bit more about it. I've got Bob and Kay from Arlington and Washington with and Charlie and Charlie, little Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Hi. And this is their very cool trailer. It's a 20 foot, 23, 23 foot. foot ideal, 1970. 1972. 1972. Okay, so tell me a little bit about it. Where did you find it? Where did we it found it from? in Tacoma about uh, four years ago. Yeah. And since we have the blue and white truck, uh, when we found out it was an older trailer and it was blue and white, we had to have it. That's that's all so, it was. It was the color. Yeah, it was the color. It well, actually, it, it was like... a floor plan. The, the floor plan worked for us very Which well. Which is very cool. And uh, the only thing we've had to do to it is put fender skirts on it and hubcaps. Well, that's neat. And uh, that's yeah. it. And we'll, we will go and have a look inside and, and check it out. Thank you very much. So check out this awesome just... Apparently I have to turn right and uh, go down the road a little bit and here it is. It's like a house on wheels with everything you need, including a full bathroom. Check that out. That's pretty luxurious. I'm a little bit jealous right now. Through your town. I'm gonna ride around in style. I'm gonna drive everybody wild. Cause I'll have the only one there is Yeah, Red Rider, this is the Cottonmouth in the Psycho Billy Cadillac, come on. So, the trailer is really cool and everything, and I, I would like to move in tomorrow, but I'm really curious about this truck. Tell me about your truck. The truck is a 53 Chev cab over nose, a 51 GMC back cab, <laughs> and a 47 Suburban in between it on top, and we took four Suburban windows to make the side windows. I think uh, Johnny Cash did a song about Johnny this Johnny Cash truck. did do a song. And it's all on a <laughs> 75 uh, uh, P30 series chassis. So it's a Gaze Baker truck chassis. Yeah. So the steering box is tilted up so we didn't have to do too much work getting the steering column aligned. Yeah, yeah. And so it's got the independent suspension, disc brakes, one ton rear end, and then I've got a 454 behind the cab oh. that sounds Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I'll bet you can't it's, uh, get a you can't get a diesel motor to sound like a built 454. Yeah, well I'll keep yeah. an ear out for that when you start it back nice, up nice, again. Nice. So you towed it here with with the truck. Yep. Obviously no problems with no an problem. engine like that. That is so cool. And tell me about this beautiful blue color again. It's a Marilyn Monroe color. Uh, Joe DiMaggio picked it out for uh, his wife at the time, Marilyn Monroe, and painted the uh, I think it was a 56 T-Bird, this color. Wow. And uh, we found out about it, and uh, of course we fell in love with it because it's a nice pastel color. It is beautiful. And uh, it had to have it. It is amazing. So, uh, thank you so much for sharing it with alrighty. us. It's thank really you. cool. Thank you. Have a good rally. All right, bye. you too, huh? See ya, bye. See ya. I'd get it one piece at a time, and it wouldn't cost me a dime. You'll know it's me when I come through your town.